uh, write down your goals now. I would take a minute right now, pause and listen and write, and then come back and we're going to get into the six steps to successful financial planning. Well, hopefully you've specifically written your goals and you know what they are. And if you haven't finished it, it's okay. It's a work in process. And I also would urge you, if you're not sitting with your significant other, your spouse, that you include him or her in this discussion and make sure that you're in sync with the goals. So keep working on those goals and we're going to move forward right into the six steps to financial success. The first is, no surprise, determine your life's goals. You're working on that already. Once you've got those in a very specific fashion, for example, retirement security, when, what kind of money you'll need in today's dollars, we'll take care of the inflation when we calculate it out. Get that down pat. Then we're going to analyze your current situation. You have to do a diagnostic on where you are today. And then you're going to create a plan to get you from where you are now to those goals that you were very specific and passionate about creating. So now you've got a plan to get from here to there in the most expeditious way possible that will include every aspect of your financial life. And we're going to talk about that as we go through the modules. The next big step is, and it is a big step, is entitled implement the plan. So creating the plan is a huge, huge move forward towards your life's goals. Now you have to put it into action. So we're going to get all the way through that, through these course modules. After that, once you've implemented your plan, you're going to monitor, monitor and adjust as you go through. You're going to continue to educate yourself in courses like this. And there is education and there is education. And I'll stop here and pause and we'll come back to this later on choosing a financial advisor. You need to understand the bias from which, and everyone has biases in their profession, the professional advisor comes. In our case, we're a fee-based investment manager, no commissions, no transactions. Our job is to guide you toward your financial goal, and then we charge you a fee based on your success as you move forward. Others might not necessarily have that motivation, and you have to gauge that education and the advice in the context of what drives them. They're not necessarily bad people, but they are motivated by how they are compensated. So make sure you understand that as you take advice from folks. Continue to educate yourself, as I said, and then move on confidently toward your life's goals. Well, when should you figure this out? Let's take an example here. We're taking, in your workbook papers, we're taking a net, net worth statement for a sample couple. And it shows their ages, their retirement goals, their net worth, their assets and their liabilities, and we plot that out toward their unique goal of retirement security. Take a look at the blue mountain chart. It goes down and goes away before their natural life expectancy. That's a pretty important bit of insight to gain. So in determining your goals, we must create the schedules based on your circumstances, your assets, your savings level, your tax bracket, and plot it out through the rest of your life, including inflation, which we'll also discuss, and decide and find out now today as we're standing here whether you're going to run out of money or breath first. You want to run out of breath before you run out of money and leave a legacy to family, to charities, those that you care about. So you need to know that now. And as you look through, you see that our people go red in the last few years of their lives. However, if we adjust the asset allocation, the savings rate, and don't read some onerous, horrible savings rate here, just adjustments, taking money from where it's not productively used and put it more productively used. We're probably spending money on things that we don't really care about, and it can even be too much money for the wrong kind of insurance, not necessarily consumer goods. So if we're redirecting our money into things that are productive, like our pre-tax retirement savings, we're going to end up like this sample couple running out of breath before they run out of money, and you see everything stays black all the way through their natural life expectancy. So when analyzing your current situation, which is step two, we need to look at your taxes, your cash flow. Now, cash flow is an interesting point. As I said, diets and budgets work equally poorly. 
Nobody loses weight on a diet long term consistently. Nobody stays on a budget long term consistently. What works in both cases is behavior modification, better choices. And you make those choices when you're fixated on your goal, where you're trying to go in your life. That will pull you toward your goal. And the decisions to reallocate, be they food choices or money choices, will become much easier to do when you're fixated on your goal. So where cash flow is an analyzed, it's done in a positive, productive way that helps put you on the road with the least amount of pain. The asset productivity of your personal and retirement plan portfolios. Most people don't know how productive the assets are. They might know how an individual position worked or how their 401k went up or down on a given month or quarter. But you need to know the long-term productivity so that you can plot if it's going to carry you through to your life's goals. Your projected estate cost, that sounds like it's way, way far in the future. Unfortunately, it could be sooner than we expect. But the estate deterioration through taxation, both federal taxes, we'll talk about it in a later module, and state death taxes can negate a large part of your life's work. So planning around that to minimize it is important. We take that evaluation right away with our clients. Education funding needs and retirement security projection. So a financial plan provides an objective, rational, actionable plan to move you toward your goals. That's as opposed to maybe capricious thought here, I gotta get around to this, maybe it's okay, maybe I'm feeling poor, maybe I'm feeling rich. I'm making decisions based on fleeting emotional tugs. A plan will keep you on track, especially during the bad times, during the inevitable downturns that occur in any economic cycle. And that's just part of what planning does, is to get you through that. So a better understanding of your future financial security will be yours and a strategy to help you reach your goals. Let's put the plan into action. Well, there you're going to need to select the right guide. You may choose to do it by yourself, but you have to honestly evaluate and uh, decide for yourself if you have the education, the training, the resources, the time, the temperament to get you through. There are a lot of analogies about trying your own court case or treating yourself medically. And those are apt, and you need to seriously consider. But then you need to consider at how much advice you need and who the guide should be, what type of firm. And we'll talk about that later. Then monitor and adjust as you go. In our case, we monitor ongoing. We adjust portfolios quarterly. Remember, there are no transaction fees. So we adjust them quarterly uh, back to the original asset allocation model that we've selected together as client and advisor. And I would urge you to have an advisor who will do that. Revisiting the portfolio on a quarterly basis at least is important. Daily, too much, it's gonna cause unnecessary activity. But monitoring and adjusting using textbook principles of doing so will help keep you on track. And then continue to keep yourself educated. All right, following the six steps, Think about it. Are there any other methodologies? Pure dumb luck, find the stock that's gonna to double tomorrow, you know those things aren't possible. You cannot do that. But following a rational plan will give you the most assured path to travel, to reach your financial goals. You either have a plan or you don't. A solid financial plan will get you through the rough waters and out into calm harbor. So you can receive a free financial analysis contact us. You can come through our website. You can give us a call. 1-800-900-4492 or 412-227-3200. We're here to help you. Thank you.